Welcome back everyone. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the bottom portion here um, where we're working with templates. So not drawings, but templates. So we want to open um, a template and we're going to work in that template and then we're going to save that template as a template. Why would we do that? This would allow us to create our customization for templates that we need to use down the line. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the open tab or you can type the word open and there we go and now what I want to do is um, it's recognizing my drawing files right so these blue and yellow icons are AutoCAD drawing files and I'm going to click on that extension uh, or the drop down rather and say I'm looking for drawing templates as soon as I click this it jumps to AutoCAD's drawing template file. So we were originally uh, on the ACAD file. So that's the ACAD template. And I'm going to open that up. And this would allow me to make certain changes to the template. Um, this template right now, and we can see that I'm in the template because it says ACAD.DWT up in the file in the title bar rather uh, it also says or confirms that it's acad.dwt uh, so i know i'm working with my template file okay so any change that happens here uh, for future drawings those changes will take effect so i need to be really specific and really careful about what changes i'm making here um, so basically what i want to do with this um, just to keep it nice and easy so that we can see uh, some of the differences. I'm going to add a, a brand new layer, uh, move it to the proper screen here. There we go. So I'm going to add a layer and we'll talk about adding layers. Uh, and I'm going to call this blue layer just for, uh, just for convenience. And I'm going to change the color to be blue. And again, I see this little pop up and we'll make it that color blue. That looks good and I'll make it really nice and thick so that it's easier to see. That looks good there. Um, okay, and I'm gonna click up here. And so I made a blue layer and that's going to be my, my default setting, right? Just the way it is, so I'm gonna leave that setting there. And all I have to do now is hit save. Now, if I hit save, then it's going to overwrite the original default uh, template file, and I don't want to do that because I want to I want to keep the original as the original. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do a save as. This will allow me to to change the name and keep the integrity of the original, so I don't mess with the original. So I'm going to call this acad underscore blue. And I'm going to make sure that's a drawing template file. And it's in my template folder. And I'm going to hit Save. And the first time I do that, it's going to give me the template options, uh, making sure that this is either in English or in metric, right? So Imperial English is the units that we're working in. And I'm going to click OK. So there's nothing really to do here. Just click OK. And I've saved that template file. So I'm going to X out of it. And I'm going to go to new, right? So I want a new file. There we are. And here is my ACAD blue template file. I'm going to hit open. And as I do, I should see, there it is. The blue layer is by default set. So that means that when I draw, my line work and things are going to be all blue. Now, uh, the, we want to talk about model space, um, which is the space that we're in now, versus paper space. And paper space is, are these layouts one and layouts two. All right, so you can see layout two has my blue line work in there. Layout one does not have my line work in there. Um, but I want to call your attention to something in the status bar. So the status bar is down below. And currently, my model space here, right, um, it does say model space. 
if I click that word model, it jumps me to paper space. And now I see in my tooltip or the status bar down on the bottom that it says paper and it jumps to paper. And we're looking on the left hand side, I rec recognize that I'm in layout one, okay, or paper space one. Clicking on paper again in here actually does something a little funny to the frame. And what it did was it activated uh, what's known as floating model space. All right, so I'll tell you what the difference is in a moment. Um, we can see that as I changed, now this word on the bottom says model. And if I want to change it again, I just hit it again, and now it changes back to paper. And things change on the bottom here, depending on what is going on with my paper space and model space. So what's the difference? Model space is where we draw, right? And I can zoom out, and it is... Um, you know, it goes on forever and ever and ever, right? Um, it is cyberspace, it is wide open. And the layout tabs are basically representing the sheets of paper that we might print uh, this out to, or it might be a virtual sheet of paper that we save as a PDF file or something like that. Uh, so these white spaces have specific sizes. Right, so if I zoom in and out of here, you can see that uh, it looks like a sheet of paper and it's got some dotted lines. This dotted line around the edge here um, represents the printing boundary. So one thing to note with the printing boundary is that it will change based on the printer that you have connected to your particular computer. So whatever computer you're working on, if you have select printers, um, you will see the printing boundary or printing outline uh, based on what your printer's capabilities are. So if your printer is borderless, well, then you might not see this dotted line. If you have an old school printer, you might see the, uh, the vertical lines on one side be a little bit more lopsided, giving you a little bit more extra space uh, on one side than the other. Um, and this can sort of be modified with some of the, the print settings. Uh, but that's what this dotted line is. That's your printing boundary. Then we have this checkered area. And the checkered area is, um, is, has this rectangle on the outside. And that rectangle, if you just hover your mouse over it, is called the viewport. Um, and the viewport is basically like a window. It acts like a window. All right. And if I were to, I'm just going to move this temporarily off to the side here. So you can see that my paper space behind is literally just a sheet of paper. And this checkerboard area or this grid area is a window into model space, right? It's a window into model space. So I'm going to move that window back onto my paper, right? And it's looking at whatever is in my model space. Now, this might be oversized. Uh, this list blue zigzag line that I have, it might be too small, it might be too big, it might be on the left, it might be on the right, or as in layout one, it's not seen at all, right? So this is what that window um, or the viewport allows us to do, is I can click on the word paper here, or Alternatively, I can double left click inside the grid space. One, two, and I notice that my viewport box changes to a, uh, a more darker bold line. And I see some information in here. I see my view cube. I see my, my little um, helper guides. Uh, I see some information on the top. And I see my UCS. So. Basically, what I did was I just opened up the window into model space, right? Into that black workspace area. So in here, when I start zooming in, because I have this open, you can start to see where my drawing actually was. My drawing was off to the right-hand side up in the corner, right? So now I can kind of zoom in and I can bring it more into the middle. Sorry, zoom out, now zoom in bring it more into the middle and I can set it to a particular scale, right? We should always be doing that. It should never be full uh, or filling the frame, but I need to go down here and I'll see some numbers 
And if I click on that number set, I can say, yeah, give me, you know, one to one scale. Well, that immediately looks way too big. So now I need to cut, cut down and bring it back a little bit. Let's try one fourth. So quarter scale looks good, right? So I have this at quarter scale. So whatever this draw is drawn um, is now at quarter scale. And just for convenience sake, I, I don't like looking at the grid. So I'm gonna go down below and turn that grid off. And again, we'll cover all of these tools in, in, in a little in future videos. But um, now that I've got this scale that a quarter size, I'm gonna double left click out in the gray space, one, two. And now I'm back to my paper space, right? So now this is my paper space, it's properly scaled. Um, and you can see if I click once on my viewport, right, that's my window. Then I've reset my window, I've reset my scale. So I'm gonna move that back and I can adjust the size of my window by clicking on the corner. So clicking, letting go and dragging and then clicking again to reset. Uh, and that's pretty much the difference between paper space and model space and floating model space. So one more time, I hit escape to get out of that. Model tab, this is my model space. This is where I draw my model one to one, full scale. So if it's 100 inches, you're drawing 100 inches. If it's two feet, you're drawing two feet. If it's three millimeters, you're drawing actually three millimeters. Then in the layout tab is what where we go when we start uh, getting ready to print this out on paper. And uh, just by default, it is usually on paper space. And if we need to modify the settings of whatever our drawing is, then we need to access the model, right? Because how would we be able to, we won't be able to see its relationship to the paper. Um, so we need floating model space. And the easiest way to do that, double left click inside, one, two. And now I can access floating model space. I'm accessing the model. So whatever change happens here, right? Let's say I bring this down like so, whatever change happens here in my floating model space, um, I can also, I'll, I'll go to my model space, the change happens here because it's like opening up a window and making that change. So I'm gonna go back to my open window and I notice it's still a deep dark outline. I wanna close the window, double left click outside, one, two, there it is. And now I've got my paper space set, window is closed, uh, and I can go ahead and add some annotations or, or some other information like a title block to make this look like an official drawing. So that's the difference between model space, paper space, and floating model space.